hello hello welcome welcome to day 281 of our bible in a year challenge my name is sandra i'm gonna be your host for today welcome we are committed to reading our bibles in a year with just less than 20 minutes daily read time yes you heard me right just less than 20 minutes daily read time please kindly go ahead right now subscribe to my youtube channel follow me on facebook on instagram and on TikTok at Sandra Boyo Areleba. Let's get started. Day 281, October 8, 2023. 365 days Bible reading. Old Testament, Jeremiah 16, Jeremiah 17. New Testament, Colossians 4, 1 to 18. Psalms and Proverbs, Psalm 118, verse 17 to 29. Old Testament NIV version Jeremiah 16 1 to 21 day of disaster then the word of the Lord came to me you must not marry and have sons or daughters in this place for this is what the Lord says about the sons and daughters born in this land and about the women who are their mothers and the men who are their fathers they will die of deadly diseases they will not be murdered they will not be mourned or buried, but will be like dung lying on the ground. They will perish by sword and famine, and their dead bodies will become food for the birds and the wild animals. For this is what the Lord says, Do not enter a house where there is a funeral meal. Do not go to mourn or show sympathy, because I have withdrawn my blessing, my love and my pity, from this people, declares the Lord, both high and low will die in this land. They will not be buried or mourned, and no one will cut themselves or shave their head for the dead. No one will offer food to comfort those who mourn for the dead, not even for a father or a mother, nor will anyone give them a drink to console them. And do not enter a house where there is feasting and sit down to eat and drink. For this is what the Lord Almighty, the God of Israel, says. Before your eyes and in your days, I will bring an end to the sounds of joy and gladness and to the voices of bride and bridegroom in this place. When you tell these people all this and they ask you, why has the Lord decreed such a great disaster against us? What wrong have we done? What sin have we committed against the Lord our God? Then say to them, It is because your ancestors forsook me, declares the Lord, and followed other gods and served and worshipped them. They forsook me and did not keep my law. But you have behaved more wickedly than your ancestors. See how all of you are following the stubbornness of your evil hearts instead of obeying me. So I will throw you out of this land into a land neither you nor your ancestors have known. And there you will serve other gods day and night, for I will show you no favor. However, the days are coming, declares the Lord, when it will no longer be said, As surely as the Lord lives, who brought the Israelites up out of Egypt, but it will be said, as surely as the Lord lives, who brought the Israelites up out of the land of the north and out of all the countries where he had banished them. For I will restore them to the land I gave their ancestors. But now I will send for many fishermen, declares the Lord, and they will catch them. After that, I will send for many hunters, and they will hunt them down on every mountain and hill and from the crevices of the rocks. My eyes are on all their ways. They are not hidden from me, nor is their sin concealed from my eyes. I will repay them double for their wickedness and their sin, because they have defiled my land with the lifeless forms of their vile images and have filled my inheritance with their detestable idols. Lord, my strength and my fortress, my refuge in time of distress to you, the nations will come from the ends of the earth and say, Our ancestors possessed nothing but false gods, worthless idols, that did them no good. Do people make their own gods? Yes, but they are not gods. Therefore, 
I will teach them. This time, I will teach them my power and might. Then they will know that my name is the Lord. Jeremiah 17, 1 to 27. Judah's sin is engraved with an iron tool, inscribed with a flint point on the tablets of their hearts and on the horns of their altars. Even their children remember their altars and Asherah poles beside the spreading trees and on the high hills. My mountain in the land and your wealth and all your treasures i will give away as plunder together with your high places because of sin throughout your country through your own fault will you lose the inheritance i gave you i will enslave you to your enemies in a land you do not know for you have kindled my anger and it will burn forever this is what the lord says cursed is the one who trusts in men who draws strength from mere flesh and whose heart turns away from the lord that person will be like a bush in the wasteland. They will not see prosperity when it comes. They will dwell in the parched places of the desert, in a salt land where no one lives. But blessed is the one who trusts in the Lord, whose confidence is in him. They will be like a tree planted by the water that sends out its roots by the stream. It does not fear when heat comes. Its leaves are always green. It has no worries in a year of drought and never fails to bear fruit the heart is deceitful above all things and beyond cure who can understand it i the lord search the heart and examine the mind to reward each person according to their conduct according to what their deeds deserve like a partridge that hatches eggs it did not lay or those who gain riches by unjust means. When their lives are half gone, their riches will desert them, and in the end they will prove to be fools. A glorious throne exalted from the beginning is the place of our sanctuary. Lord, you are the hope of Israel. All who forsake you will be put to shame. Those who turn away from you will be written in the dust because they have forsaken the Lord, the spring of living water. Heal me, Lord, and I will be healed. Save me, and I will be saved. For you are the one I praise. They keep saying to me, Where is the word of the Lord? Let it now be fulfilled. I have not run away from being your shepherd. You know, I have not desired the day of despair. What passes my lips is open before you. Do not be a terror to me. You are my refuge in the day of disaster. Let my persecutors be put to shame. But keep me from shame. Let them be terrified. But keep me from terror. Bring on them the day of disaster. Destroy them with double destruction. Keeping the Sabbath day holy. This is what the Lord said to me. Go and stand at the gate of the people through which the king of Judah go in and out. Stand also at all the other gates of Jerusalem. Say to them, hear the word of the Lord. You kings of Judah and all people of Judah. And everyone living in Jerusalem will come through his gates. This is what the Lord says. Be careful not to carry a load on the Sabbath day or bring it through the gates of Jerusalem. Do not bring a load out of your houses or do any work on the Sabbath. But keep the Sabbath day holy as I commanded your ancestors. Yet they did not listen or pay attention. They were stiff-necked and would not listen or respond to discipline. But if you are careful to obey me, declares the Lord, and bring no load through the gates of the city on the Sabbath, but keep the Sabbath day holy by not doing any work on it, then kings will sit on David's throne, will come through the gates of the city with their officials. They and their officials will come riding in chariots and on horses, accompanied by the men of Judah and those living in Jerusalem. And the city will be inhabited forever. People will come from the towns of Judah and the villages around Jerusalem, from the territory of Benjamin and the western foothills, from the hill country and the Negev, bringing burnt offerings and sacrifices, grain offerings and incense, and bringing thank offerings to the house of the Lord. But if you do not obey me to keep the Sabbath day holy by not carrying any load as you come through the gates of Jerusalem on the Sabbath day, then I will kindle an unquenchable fire in the gates of Jerusalem that will consume her fortresses.
New Testament NIV version, Colossians 4, 1 to 18. Masters, provide your slaves with what is right and fair because you know that you also have a master in heaven. Further instructions, devote yourselves to prayer, being watchful and thankful, and pray for us too, that God may open a door for our message so that we may proclaim the mystery of Christ, for which I am in chains. Pray that I may proclaim it clearly as I should. Be wise in the way you act toward outsiders. Make the most of every opportunity. Let your conversation be always full of grace, seasoned with salt, so that you may know how to answer everyone. Final greetings. Tychicus will tell you all the news about me. He is a dear brother, a faithful minister, and fellow servant in the Lord. I am sending him to you for the express purpose that you may know about our circumstances and that he may encourage your heart. He is coming with one Simus, our faithful and dear brother who is one of us. They will tell you everything that is happening here. My fellow prisoner, Aristarchus sends you his greetings, as does Mark, the cousin of Barnabas. You have received instructions about him. If he comes to you, welcome him. Jesus, who is called Justus, also sends greetings. These are the only Jews among my co-workers for the kingdom of God, and they have proved a comfort to me. Epaphras, who is one of you and a servant of Christ Jesus, sends greetings. He is also wrestling in prayer for you, that you may stand firm in all the will of God, mature and fully assured. I vouch for him that he is working hard for you and for those at Laodicea and here Polis. Our dear friend Luke, the doctor, and Demas send greetings. Give my greetings to the brothers and sisters of Laodicea and to Nympha and the church in her house. After this letter has been read to you, see that it is also read in the church of the Laodiceans and that you in turn read the letter from Laodicea. Tell Achipos, See to it that you complete the ministry you have received in the Lord. I, Paul, write this greeting in my own hand. Remember my chains. Grace be with you. Psalms and Proverbs, Psalm 118, verse 17 to 29. I will not die but live and will proclaim that the Lord, what the Lord has done. The Lord has chastened me severely, but he has not given me over to death. Open for me the gates of the righteous, I will enter and give thanks to the Lord. This is the gate of the Lord through which the righteous may enter. I will give thanks for you answered me. You have become my salvation. The stone the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. The Lord has done this and it is marvelous in our sights. The Lord has done it this very day. Let us rejoice today and be glad. Lord, save us. Lord, grant us success. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. From the house of the Lord, we bless you. The Lord is God and he has made his light shine on us. With bows in a hand, join in the festal procession up to the horns of the altar. You are my God and I will praise you. You are my God and I will exalt you. Give thanks to the Lord for he is good. His love endures forever. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Please, if you're here and you would like to make Jesus your personal Lord and Savior, kindly repeat this prayer after me. Believing in your heart, every single word you say, Lord Jesus, I confess my sins and I ask for your forgiveness. Please come into my heart as my Lord and Savior. Take complete control of my life and help me to walk in your footsteps daily by the power of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord, for saving me and for answering my prayer. In Jesus' name, amen. Congratulations. If you said this prayer, we are so excited to welcome you into God's family. Kindly go ahead right now. Send us an email. Let us know you gave your heart to Christ. Someone is going to reach out to you and pray with you and help you in your new walk of faith. The email address is salvationinchrist. 101 at gmail.com that is salvation in christ 101 at gmail.com god bless you please remember to subscribe to my youtube channel 
Follow me on Facebook, on Instagram, and on TikTok at Sandra Boyo Aruleba. Thank you so much for being here again today. It's always a pleasure having you here. I look forward to another amazing day with you tomorrow. Have a blessed day today. I love you. Bye.